Whoa, I got that Peacock ad. Whoa. There's a lot of ads on this site. Okay, but anyways, let me do the little YouTube intro. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Appreciate you guys uh, clicking on this video. I'm going to be doing an Injustice 2 tier list. The final Injustice 2 tier list by me. Um, as, as some of you know, I was a very high-level player on this game. I was actually the number one ranked player for like eight months straight or like seven months straight in 2018. So I feel like I, I have a good uh, good grasp on the game. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this... Uh, We'll see what I think. So let's uh, figure out what the tiers are going to be. So I'm going to do S. And then I'm going to do uh, S minus. <laughs> and I'm going to do A plus. And then I'm going to do A. Then I'm going to do B. And then under that. I'm going to do Here's the thing, and I know a lot of people are like why do they why do people do S and S minus and A plus? Why don't they just do S A B C D? Because I feel like when you do it like this, it kind of illustrates that the characters aren't that far off from each other. Cuz they're not. Like there's no like F tier character on this game or like D tier character. You know what I mean? So that's why I do it like that. Uh, but let's go from uh, left to right. So, so the Adam. So the Adam, I would say, is easy top five. I think he's the best zoner in the game. Um, I know you guys will be like, Starfire, Starfire. I think Starfire is the second best zoner. But I feel like matchup-wise, at high level, at competitive level, Adam is the best zoner. He outzones Starfire. He outzones pretty much everyone. There might be like a matchup or two. Not really, though, because, like, Green Arrow, Cyborg, Starfire, he outzones all these characters, Dr. Fate. So, like, I know, like, Starfire is annoying on, like, Combat League or, or Ranked. I guess it's not Combat League. But at, like, the highest competitive level, the Atom is the best zoner. So, I think he's a top five character, S tier character. Okay, Atrocitus. Atrocitus is solid. He's solid. He's not, like, he's not super cheap anymore. But he still does good damage. He still has good mids. Um, good mind games. So he's solid. He's solid. He's a solid guy. Okay, so Bane. Bane is like the weirdest character. Because like so much about him kind of sucks. But so much about him is broke. So like for literally for different reasons. For like the opposite reasons. I'm going to put him in the same tier as Atrocitus. Like so much about him is completely broken. Like Venom and the command grab and the... Uh, the mix-ups and stuff like that. But then, like, once he's debuffed, he's he's ass. He's, like, the worst character in the game when he's on debuff. So, if you can manage it well, though, I, I believe he's a, he's around here. Like, around here. So far, we might move based on uh, other characters. Um, okay, so Batman. Batman, in my opinion, is the best character in the game. I just feel like his, uh, his trait... His trait and his pressure are like the strongest thing in the game pretty much and you might be like oh you can just block but the new mix-ups that people found with like the grapple into the ambiguous jump too i feel like that took him from being like from like around here maybe top a plus maybe s minus to being the best character in the game because the fact that he has that trait and that pressure along with real mix-ups that are plus that launch that man's the best bro in my opinion i think he's the best all right, so where was I? Okay, Blue Beetle. So Blue Beetle, he's like a... Uh, he's really good, right? Like, he's got good projectile, good rushdown. In his tray, he's got really good normals. He's got good mix-ups. His mix-ups are kind of unsafe, though. But he's got good mix-ups. He's got good... Um, good pressure. But I don't know if he's S... He's either like end of S or like S minus. So since there's already two in S, I'm gonna put him in S minus or S minus to be safe. Okay, so Black Adam. I feel like Black Adam, obviously, he was like top tier release, but like he got he got some nerfs here and there. And I feel like a lot of the characters in the game are like pretty good against them, like uh the Adam, Batman, um Brainiac, Catwoman. 
he is pretty good against like Starfire and uh, maybe a couple other top tiers, but I, I'm, I would put him in S minus for now. Okay, so Black Manta. Black Manta is a character who uh, he's got really good pressure, really good normals. He's got solid damage, but it's not it, his damage isn't too great. It's just solid. I feel like the thing about Black Manta is like. These characters, like S S tier characters, are like really cheap, and I feel like he he doesn't do anything cheap. Besides, like his he can lock you down a little bit with like his jump kick and stuff like that in his rockets, but like I I don't know I feel like his normals are really good his pressure is really good, but like he would need like either insane damage or like a cheap mix up for me to put him in S. So I'm gonna put him in uh, S minus for now. Okay, Brainiac. So, Brainiac post post Injustice 2. Now, obviously, there were already, like, two Brainiacs at uh, the Injustice World Final. The last one. But I feel like post uh, MK11, he's been the most developed character with, like, Mason the Moo Cow and Steed and all those players. Uh, his offense is just, like, it's unlimited. He has unlimited potential with his offense and his mix-ups. And he is just, like, really cheap. Now, obviously, some characters out neutral and really hard, like Starfire, um, and like Batman, but uh, but um, I feel like he's S tier. I really do. I feel like he's S. I don't know if I should put him in front of the Adam or behind, but I feel like he's S tier. Okay, Black Canary, same same situation as Bane, um, where. Her strengths are, are insane, like best strengths in the game. But her weakness is she's like clearly weak, right? In in those uh situations, like playing neutral and stuff like that. And also, if you can like exploit her wake up and stuff, like she's not like as scary. But she what she does well is still like so good though. So I would put her like uh I would put her like here for now, but I might move her down to like I'll put her right here for now. Okay, so Captain Cold. Captain Cold, I feel like he just doesn't do enough things well. Like, he's got a good jump in, but his jump's very floaty, so it ends up not being good. His, his like, pokes and normals are, like, so short. And, like, his projectile game is really good, but it's really, like, matchup dependent. Right? Like, some matchups, his projectile game is really good. Other matchups, it's like, he just gets deleted off the screen. Whereas, like, I feel like someone like Black Canary, even if she's has a matchup she struggles in she's like not deleted off the screen like she just needs a couple things to go right a couple hard reads to go right so i'm gonna put captain cold in b for now um that's just how i feel about him like i feel like a character that gets deleted off the screen by by a good amount of the cast it's just like yeah he sucks like he has really good matchups like he actually matches up against dr fate really well he actually matches up against um the flash really well so maybe I'll put him in B+, but he just had some really bad matchups that I feel like characters here and above don't. Okay, so Catwoman. Catwoman, in my opinion, is, is S. Um, just her movement, her pressure, her damage. That's the thing. She's kind of like Black Manta in a way, but with insane damage. Now, Black, they obviously have different normals, stuff like that. But, like, that's what I was kind of talking about Black Manta. Like, for Black Manta, I need him to have, like, either, like, broke damage or, like, a cheap mix-up. To be S, Catwoman has both. Catwoman has that same, like, oppressive, like, good movement, great jumping, great mids. But she also has, she has a cheap little mix-up. It's not the cheapest, but it's cheap little mix-up. And she has broke damage, extremely broke damage. So, yeah, I would put Catwoman in S for now. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to reserve the S for, like, top five or something like that. So, I'm going to move Adam down for now, but I might move him back up. All right, so Cheetah... Um, I mean, Cheetah's good. Like, she's kind of like Bane and Canary. She's not as cheap as those characters, but she also doesn't struggle as bad, like, in neutral as those characters. So, I would put her about right here. Like, her mix-ups, in my opinion, are as cheap as Bane and Canary. And she doesn't get the damage that they do as often. Don't get me wrong. She gets trade, she has two bars, she's getting their damage. Don't get me wrong. But most of the time, she's not, right? Like, she'll get little little shitty hits here and there. Um, but her neutral game is better than them, though. I think. 
against most of the cast. Like, it's harder to zone Cheetah than Bane, for sure. But Bane's a little bit cheaper, like, when he gets going, I feel like. But I, So I feel like I would put them about the same place. Uh, Cyborg? Cyborg is, um... He's a polarizing character, right? Because he's kind of like Captain Cold, where, like, he beats a lot of characters, but he also loses to uh, quite a few characters. But I do feel like he's better... He can fight his harder matchups better than, like, Captain Cold, right? Like, he can, like, get some projectile trades off, get his trade out, get in, do those plus strings, get a lead, and then he'll be out zoning him. Uh, so I'm going to put him in A for now. He was a nostalgic turtle. What's up, JTG? All right, so Dark Side is, uh... I mean, he's, like, extremely high risk. High reward. He's kind of like uh, like Master of Souls Ermac, or like imagine if Sub Zero's low was unsaved. That's kind of what he's like. Um, so I'll put him in A, I guess. Because if you win with him, you'll win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if they guess wrong, you won. But if they guess right. And also, his neutral's not the best. He has, like, a good poke special, but he doesn't have the best neutral. And he doesn't have good enough tools to where, like, you can play without doing his unsafe mix to where, like, you'll be a competitive threat. You know what I mean? Like, if you just do, like, back one two or, like, down one knee, like, you're not going to win games long term like that. Like, you got to do the mix. So I'm going to put him in A for now because of that. Um, Deadshot, uh... Deadshot is like is she he's good against Starfire, to be honest, my main. So in my mind, he's pretty good. But looking at it objectively, I feel like he's kind of like Captain Cold, where like he has his good matchups, like Dr. Fate, Starfire, he's still good against them. But like against like a really good Flash, really good like Hellboy, probably a really good like uh, Black Adam, maybe. Or like Brainiac, just characters that get in good. Like he's probably he probably has such an uphill battle these days. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put him in B plus for now. All right, Dr. Faye. I feel like Dr. Faye is pretty overrated. Um, his zoning is really good. His mids are really good. But I feel like he does struggle matchup-wise against the top. Like, uh, Catwoman, he struggles against. Batman, in my opinion, he struggles against. Starfire, he gets mopped by. Firestorm, he struggles against. So the fact that he struggles against so many uh, top-tier characters, it's just it's hard for me to put him put him high it's hard i think tools wise tools wise he's like here but once you're like at competitive level in tournaments you gotta start considering matchups matchup wise he's matchup wise he's like fucking here but because his tools are so good i'll still put him like top of a plus i just feel like his matchups the flash the flash bodies him at the highest level the flash shits on him i know like it was common opinion that the flash loses the fate no bro if you get to that range with a uh, flash where you duck under the projectiles, which is very far out because flash ducks really low and you throw a trait, fake can't really do anything, bro. He has to make insanely hard reads that have little reward. And if the flash is right, then you're dead. So like matchup wise, he just, he, he kind of sucks like in tournament. All right. So enchantress, um, I mean, she's solid. She's solid. Her offense isn't as cheap as you would like it to be, you know, for her to be like a really scary character. But she doesn't, she has enough tools to where like, she's not like, she doesn't get like zoned out too bad. Uh, she can contend up close, stuff like that. So I would say she's about around like here. Just like she needs, she would need to be like a little bit cheaper for me to uh, put her higher. Like, she kind of feels like an MK11 character with, like, some mix-ups. You know what I mean? Like, she's a little bit too, like, fair. I, like, her jump two is good. Her mix-ups are pretty good. But I feel like she needs, like, a little bit more for me to put her higher. But, again, she doesn't... She's not like Deadshot or Captain Cold where some characters will just shit on her, like, too bad. Besides maybe, like, Wonder Woman and Aquaman. So I'll put her around, like, there. Okay, so Firestorm. Firestorm is like, uh, he is like arguably the best offense in the game, right? 
besides Brainiac. Brainiac and him probably have the best offense. Um, but I feel like his uh, his like neutral game is not as good as people think it is. Like I feel like his neutral game, like yeah, he's got Molten Trap. He's got like a five frame jump one. He can throw like back two, and he's got long down one stuff like that. But I feel like his neutral game is not as good as people think. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it's not. He he gets out neutral by a fair amount of characters. Um. But because his offense is so good, counter poking so good, risk reward so good. I feel like it's safe to put him here for now. I feel like it's safe to put him there for now. Okay, the flash. So the flash is like is like really cheap, right? Like it makes ups in the crazy damage. He gets in pretty good on zoning. Um his neutral game though is where he struggles. Like unless he pops trait, like his neutral game isn't the best. He's gonna have to make some hard reads. Um so because of that, I would put him like, I would put him like, um, like right here for now, maybe, maybe like right here, ish. All right, so green arrow, a uh, green arrow to me, he's just like he's bottom of the barrel when it comes to zoners. Because he loses to me in those matchups, right? Like, he loses to Fate, loses to Cyborg, loses to the Atom. Um, and then when it comes to, like, characters he does zone, he doesn't even, like, zone them as well as people think. Uh, he does do pretty good against Starfire, but even that's probably 5-5 five five if, like, you really break it down. Uh, yeah, I don't... He doesn't, he doesn't like, get mopped by, like, uh, too many characters. By a few, he does, though. But I still feel like his offense is good enough to where, like, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't put him down there with Deadshot and Cold, but I don't think he's very good. All right, so Green Lantern. Green Lantern's pretty good. He got a big damage buff. He's got good projectiles, good neutral. I feel like where he struggles is where uh, his movement is not the best. So if he gets zoned, he can get zoned pretty decently. So because of that, I would say he's around, like, I know, like, it's like his villain, so it's weird for me to say they're about the same, but they're about the same. Like, uh, Trocidus and Green Lantern, as far as, like, character strength. Like, they're both, like, really solid. They both have, like, a couple weaknesses, but they're they're pretty good overall. Like, they do pretty much, like, everything well. Green Lantern, though, he just, he gets zoned hard by a couple characters. But besides that, I think he's pretty great. Okay, so Gorilla Grodd, um... Grodd basically, like... He's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like if the flash was like even worse in neutral. Cause like his, his traits not as scary to just like with the flash, like his neutral is bad. Right. But if the flash throws out trait, depending on the matchup, there's not much you can do. Like the flash is just going to get in on you. Um, but with Grodd, he doesn't have anything like that. Um, but he does delete you so good. He does delete you so good. If he hits you. Like, uh, I would argue his offense is like, I, I said Brainiac has the best offense, but it's probably Flash and Grodd, right? They have the best offense, like, truly. But just Brainiac and Firestorm have neutral with it, too, so so that's why they're S. Grodd, I would feel like, is not as good as Flash. Uh, but I feel like because he deletes you so good when you're optimal, it's hard for me to say he's, like, lower than here. It's hard for me to say that. Um, I know that's pretty high, but just how I view the game. I feel like people don't really play Grodd optimal at all. Just my opinion. Um, okay, so Harley. Harley's really good, right? Like, she's got really high damage. She never needs to spin bars, so she always wins Clash. She's got good neutral. Not, not like great neutral, but good neutral, right? Like, her jump kick's so good. She's got the fast projectile. Um... I feel like she's really underrated, bro. And I know you might say, oh, it's because you play Veromos. Number one. Number one, uh, I've always felt like she was underrated. You know, it took a player like Veromos to show how good she is. 
I don't think she's S tier, but I would put her like right here. I know that's a super hot take, but she's got insane damage. She never needs to spin bar on anything. She's got good neutral, not great neutral. Good neutral, not great. She's got uh, she's got a little mix ups. She doesn't have like the best mix ups, but I feel like her damage and like meter management and uh, like her jump ins and stuff like that. I think they make her really good. Like if you put like a smart player behind her. Yeah, Grodd is kind of like Jax in MK11, where it's like, why would you put in that much work execution-wise when you could play like someone else? Okay, so Hellboy. Hellboy, I feel like um a lot of people aren't good against his leap. I feel like if you get a good if you get good against his leap, a lot of matchups he's not very good in. And his offense isn't as scary as people think. Um, he's still really good though, right? Like he's got really good movement, really good projectile. His trait's good if you use it right. Um, he's got good buttons, good damage. So I'll put him like right here. Some people have him here. I think they need to learn the matchup. <laughs> I don't feel like he's that high. But I, I'll put him like right here. Okay, so Aquaman. Aquaman to me is like, is like here. Like he just gets shit on by some characters, man. Like, uh... I don't know. I feel like he just gets shit on by some characters. Like, I feel like if you get shit on so bad by a few characters, that you gotta be kind of low. Like, Starfire shits on him really bad. I believe, doesn't Atrocity shit on him really bad? I think Ominous said. Ominous could tell you guys better than me, but... Aquaman is, like, good, but... He just, he just gets shit on, bro. By some characters. He has some good matchups here and there, for sure, but... Yeah, I'm going to say he's like he's like B+. Plus. Okay, so Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy is... um, She's good. She's really good, right? Like, she's got... Uh, I'm trying to... Here's the thing. No one played Poison Ivy really good post-MK11, so I'm trying to remember, like, what it was like playing against, like, Big D and uh, Mr. J. I'm trying to remember. Because she was good, right? I just forget, like, what was good about her. She had, like... She had the drill, but was I don't even. Here's the here's the thing. Post MK11, a few characters have not been played too much. And what's up, old man? So I'm trying to remember. Yo, what's up, Wang? She had a good mid. I remember that. And her forward three was really good. Like you could do it on reaction to some stuff, and then she would set up Trey. And if they do it right. You would kind of have to sit there and hold that for a little bit. Yo, what's up, Georgia Serious? So, yeah, she was good. I remember I thought she was top 10. I don't know if I think she's top 10 now because certain characters have moved up for me, like Brainiac, Harley, um, The Atom. So, I don't know if she's top 10 now. But I remember her being really good. So, I'm going to put her, like, right here. Sorry I didn't have as much... Uh, input on this character it's just not a lot of people play her these days okay so the joker same kind of situation as these characters like she, he just gets shit on bro by some of the cast like shit on really bad starfire um i'm sure the atom shits on him really bad but he he's cheap though he's cheap though it's just like i, I would never lose to a joker you know what i mean I don't care who they are. It's just because Starfire just wins so easily against them. And I feel like no one in A has matchups like that, really. Maybe they do. Maybe Enchantress versus, like, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. But I feel like for Joker, it's, like, more of an uphill battle. Like, I don't know. He's just kind of poop. Okay, so Raiden? Raiden is, like, uh, he's weird, bro. He's, like... He's, like, low-key boring to play. And he's, like, not good. So, it's, like, I feel like that's why no one ever played him. Because it's, like, you they put a boring character into the game who's not good. So, it's, like, why wouldn't anyone ever use him? Plus, he's from MK, so, you know. But I feel like he's not, like, that bad. Like, he's probably, like, around, like, here. Like, if you're, like, optimal with him, he's probably, like, around here. Because I don't see him having matchups as bad as these characters down here at B+. 
But let me move these tiers, by the way. Um, there we go. And then... Um, okay, that looks about right. Alright, so Red Hood... Oh, man, Red Hood's like Ivy, where, like, no one really played him. Too much. Uh, Mugen played him, though, and he was good. Red Hood is, like, a very, like, well-rounded character. Uh, but he's not, like... He's not, like... He's kind of like uh, Green Lantern Ryler. He's very well-rounded, but he's not too cheap. I would say he's a little bit cheaper than Green Lantern, but he does a little bit less damage. He has a good projectile game. Good counter poking with like his lunge and stuff. He has a fast out one. His Rekkas are kind of cool. Um, I would say I would say Red Hood is like like right here maybe. One second, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, y'all. Okay, so. Or Robin. Robin's very good, right? Like, we've seen so many people, like, use him at a super high level. It's just, like, his weakness is supposed to be zoning, but he gets in so easily, and his damage is so high. So it's, like, what about him is not great. Like, I I've always been confused. What holds Robin back from being, like, right here? Like, what? People say he gets zoned. No, he doesn't. He literally has... Half screen jump kick that leads into full combos and the best mirror room roll in the game. Like, hello? <laughs> like, I guess, like, he could be a little bit cheaper because, like, his mix ups, like, it's like sweep and overhead. But his neutral is, like, so good. Damage is so good. Who's that character by Bane, Hellboy, and Grodd? I don't know. I feel like Robin is, like, so good, dude. Like, his neutral's so good, his damage is so good, his pressure is good. I don't know, he's not S. If he if his, if his he had a low that launched, he would be, like, right here. But because he doesn't, I'll put him, like, right here. Okay, Scarecrow? Um, Scarecrow's, like, really cheap. And people say he struggles against Starfire and Faye, but he really doesn't at all. <laughs> like, Faye, he ducks Faye's projectile from, like, a mile away. And once he gets in, like, Faye's just dead. And then Starfire, like, does not zone him as good as people think. Like, I played that matchup a lot with Legion. Um, His neutral is still, like, not the best. Like, he has to do, like, weird shit to get in. Like, his normal's, like, really slow. He has to do a lot of, like, jumping. But he's kind of anti-terrible. Because his jump in is so, so floaty. But I would put him like... I would put him like right here. Okay, so Starfire. So I would say Starfire is like... She's pretty good, but... Just too many weaknesses. I would say she's about right there. Alright, so Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero is another character that... I just don't know too much about. Like, uh... Not a lot of people played him post MK11, like uh, like Poison Ivy and uh, no, let's let's go back to Starfire. So, so Starfire is like very good, right? Like obviously, like uh, she's one of the best characters. Like her zoning is like top two in the game, right behind the Atom, in my opinion. Her jump in is very good. Her uh, she has very good movement, very good buttons, very good uh, good damage, great damage actually. Uh, even though it's not always technically combos. She has great damage. Um, where would I put her, though? I would put her... I would say I'd do like this. And that's my S tier. Alright, so Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, I would say, is like... He's solid, right? Like, he's got really good pressure. He doesn't... He's not... He doesn't really have great mix-ups, but he has good damage. So he's about like, I would say he's around like Green Lantern. I would say. 
Okay, so Supergirl. Supergirl's good, right? Like, she's got really good neutral, good projectile. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. She's just, like, really solid, right? So she has, like... I would say, like, if anyone 5 fives the whole cast, it would probably be her. I know it's probably not true, but... Just based on her tools... Like, she's not super cheap to where she's, like, destroying characters, but... She's got enough tool tools to where it's, like... Does this character really destroy her? Probably not. It's probably even. Like, at worst. So I would say she's, like... I would put her about... About right here. Maybe right here. And then move Harley and uh, Ivy down. Okay, so Superman. Superman kind of sucks, guys. I'm not going to lie. Here's the thing. You might be like, oh, Superman does all this damage. Loses to Batman. Loses to Catwoman. In my opinion, arguably loses to Brainiac. Loses to the Atom. Loses to Starfire. Loses to Blue Beetle. Loses to Robin. Loses to Black Adam. It's just like, he is like the king of losing to relevant characters. Like, he loses matchups like fucking crazy, bro. So I honestly, I have him like... I have him like, uh, like right here, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like right here. His tools are, are good enough to where I won't put him this low, but he's like right here, bro. And you might be like, Superman, he ain't for mid, stuff like... Bro, look at all these relevant characters you lose to. Batman, Catwoman, in my opinion, arguably Brainiac, The Atom, Starfire... Blue Beetle, Robin, uh, Black Adam. Like, he loses to so many relevant characters that, like, I feel like he has to be that low. He has to. Like, he's just... He's like Supergirl if, like, Supergirl lost every matchup. I feel like. Of course, he has, like, better damage than Supergirl and different projectiles, but... It doesn't work out for him, man. Like, he... I, w I would trade that damage for, like, a better anti-air and, like, a faster projectile. You know? Like, he's just... He loses too many important matchups. Like, you take Superman to a tournament, he's losing basically every... The matchup in basically every match you're playing. And we're doing a tier list based on competitive play, so... That's just how I feel about it. Alright, Swamp Thing, so... Lose to Sub-Zero? I don't know. That might be even. I'm not sure. Archer Swamp Thing. Um. I mean, Swamp Thing is clearly good, right? It's just how good. Like he's like people said he was trash, but I mean, it's it's pretty obvious these days that he's good. It's just like how good, you know? Because I'm sure, like at the highest level, he does have some harder matchups. Um. It's actually a matchup Superman actually does good in. <laughs> but uh I don't know he, there's a lot of good things about him man like he's got good damage good normals good trait good offense uh he can counter zone pretty well against a lot of the cast but how good is he though I would say he's around like I wouldn't put him above any of the characters in A but I wouldn't put him down here, is the thing. So I'm going to put him, yeah, right around there. Why are the turtles... Why are they all together? Okay, so I'm just going to rank the best turtle, in my opinion, which is Leonardo. And I would say that he is... I would say that Leonardo is like... Is like right here. Like his mix-up game is just so good. He has really good neutral to back it up. He has pretty good damage. He has some some like cheap pressure. I feel like he's really good. Leonardo. And then Wonder Woman. Um Wonder Woman's weird, right? Because she's so boring. She's like Jade. Look, imagine if Scar never came around MK11. We would be talking about Jade's really good, but no one plays her. We would be saying that. And I feel like that's where we were at with Wonder Woman. Because Wonder Woman is just so boring, bro. She's like Jade. And you might be like, oh, you play Starfire. Bro, Starfire literally melts life bars. Like, I understand she might be frustrating to play against, but Starfire literally is a fast character. 
Like, she melts light bars. She jumps all over the place. Like, Wonder Woman, to me, is very boring. And I feel like to a lot of people is. She's just a very slow character. But she's got very good space control. Very good buttons. Very good uh, damage. Very good specials. Oh, uh, I just ranked the best turtle blood offering. Because they didn't have them separated. and Which is Leonardo, in my opinion. Um, I would say Wonder Woman is like... If played absolutely optimal, is like right here. Or maybe right here. Or maybe right here. But to make S look lighter, because I don't want S to be too full. So I'll put her here. That's my tier list, boys. Um, I think it's a good tier list. Obviously, I'm kind of disconnected from the current Injustice 2 community. So I'm sure a, they, a lot of them disagree. I'm sure a lot of them disagree. But this is what I got right now. This is my opinion. This is my final Injustice 2 tier list. I know there's some like super hot takes in there like uh, Brainiac top 3, a Robin top 10, Black Adam not top 10, Harley like top 15. Is that top 15? No, it's like 16. Starfire is top 1 downplaying? I mean, this is just my opinion. You can have your opinion. I'm not I'm not taking your opinion away. <laughs> you can you can think what you want. But this is this is my opinion. So uh as far as the YouTube side goes, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh that's gonna be that. I'm gonna do an MKX tier list soon. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. And uh yeah, it's gonna be it for me.